It's not just the cricket that's drawing crowds this IPL season. It's this four-legged, camera-totting, tech marvel trotting straight into the hearts of the fans. Meet Champak, the robo-dog who's gone from machine to mascot, from circuits to celebrity. He's doing it all, walking up with the coin for the toss, working as a camera person, getting the best shots for the viewers at home, catching selfies with cricketers and casually stealing the limelight. If robots had a cricket fantasy league, Champak would be the captain. So besides all of the cricketing glamour that you have already seen Champak do on the field, we wanted to show you what you can do right here on the Tech Today show. So Champak, I have been told that you can dance. Let's see your dance moves. incredible right I mean we've already seen some sort of these dance-offs on the Tech Today show earlier as well I mean I cannot dance that well I can try I mean but I can't you know match these moves all right anyway I think the audience loved your dance maybe show them a bit of appreciation a little bit of love how would you show that isn't that incredible? Uh, we, we say, I'm sure the audience just loves you, but what more can you show us? I'm sure you have certain tricks that you haven't shown the players. That's incredible. That's like a hop. So, I mean, this is the kind of uh, tech that is available here. Oh, he's also waving. I mean, it's excellent. So, this is the kind of tech that's available here and Jumper can make all of these moves happen. But how is it really happening? What's the tech behind it? Let me show you. But uh, a bit of a high five? Come on. High five. This is lovely. But it's just not speed. This robo dog has got style. With programmable moves, a built in voice recognition module, mics, speakers, and even an ultra wide angle 3D LiDAR, Champak isn't just smart, he's basically a four legged rock star. Hey, Champak, come here. All right, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've been told that you've been racing these cricketers and you're winning against them. So uh, why don't we race, huh? Let's go. So I'm a bit of an adventure freak. I always like challenging technology, which is why today I am going to race against a machine and see whether I am actually capable of beating this one. So let's race. Then came the moment of truth. Heart versus hardware. Man versus machine, Champak versus me, the big race. We lined up, I gave it my best sprint, and let's just say I'm proud to announce humanity still wins. Sorry, Champak, maybe next year after you get some faster legs or an OS update. Ooh, it was hot outside, so we've just stepped inside, have a little exercise, just calm down, relax ourselves, and Champak is going to coach me with my exercises. So I'm ready, I'm, uh, you know, ready to just wind down and stretch. So what's first? All right, I think this is a nice movement to do. Mm, okay, fairly simple. This is helping, helps me relax. What else, what else can we do? This is nice, it helps stretch my lower back. What else is there? Oh, okay. I can do that as well. That's pretty simple. <sighs> yes. See, I, I like having a personal exercise coach. It's always convenient, especially something that's so sophisticated and high tech. Now, don't let this size fool you. Champak may look like a mechanical puppy, but this robot dog weighs a solid 17 kilos. That's almost as heavy as a real dog. Measuring 70 by 31 by 40 centimeters and with a payload of 8 kilograms, he can carry everything from a cricket ball to your tech kit. And how fast is he? This one can run up to 3.5 meters per second. That's fast enough. While all of this looks cute, Champak does this without throwing tantrums for any treats. Talk about an obedient dog. I need something more challenging. What, what else can we do? Okay, I, I can't do that. that. That's just you showing off. I have my limitations. I'm still a human. So, uh, while we saw its capabilities, it is quite flexible. But what's the tech behind it? Let's 
speak with the expert and uh, find out what makes Champak jump. Hi, Devjot. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, first, let's just try to understand the basics. I've had a lot of fun with Champak. I've never experienced something like this. So, can you just give us a brief of the tech that is running this robot dog? Um, the platform is a robotic system uh, which uh, uh, looks and functions like a dog. Mm. And that's why you, we call it that. Uh, uh, but it is also mounted with a special gimbal camera. Uh, it's a camera that is stabilized uh, to adjust to the movements of the dog. Right. Uh, and uh, it has a pan and a tilt control, remote control. And it also has an RF uh, radio frequency video transmitter uh, so that we can see the point of view of the, the dog uh, uh, in whatever environment uh, he's in. So this whole uh, tech is the platform and the camera and the uh, complete uh, ecosystem and the operations uh, around it. So, uh, alright, so moving uh, to a conversation about the tech, we've seen Champak do all of these movements and it seems very fluid and actually almost moves like a real dog. So, uh, I wanted to understand, are you programming this? Is it pre-programmed? What's happening there? Uh, it's uh, The platform started off with uh, programming move and of course we have uh, modified a few things here and there. Right. But yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it is programmable. So, let's just move on to the other yeah. tech that is happening in the IPL. I see a lot of augmented reality being used in the broadcast. So, can you just tell us how that tech, how you are basically working with AR in matches? So, uh, for augmented reality in matches, uh, we are seeing a huge trend where uh, gaming technologies are moving into uh, broadcast. Right. Um, and in addition to that, uh, we are also looking at uh, doing 3D volumetric scans oh. of players. Uh, putting them into uh, 3D environments uh, for augmented reality, camera moves around. It looks nice. Something like which was done with me. Yes, something right. that's done with you. So we scan the talent and uh, we put them into 3D environments and uh, augment that uh, uh, in studios or in stadia uh, for augmented reality or whatever application. So all of these expressions that are coming, uh, do the players actually give these expressions or how is how's that happening? That's uh, the future of... Uh, uh, Artificial intelligence, it's uh, generative AI. So, and all of these expressions the ma players aren't doing themselves, no, you are no. adding g them using no. Gen AI. Yeah, that's right. How does that happen? So, uh, we take standard uh, um, mugshots of, uh, of players and we get uh, another talent to uh, uh, emote could a certain be expression, could be anyone. Okay. And then we use generative AI, AI to merge the two and uh, produce the videos. But then there's also uh, a new tech that we are introducing, uh, which is called, uh, it's an artificial intelligence based uh, keying uh, hmm. technique. Uh, so we are able to se separate the player from the background, even without a green screen. Oh. And uh, uh, put graphics behind that. Correct. And uh, you, you're seeing that uh, being I've done. I've seen it a lot in the IPL. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. So, I think we've learned a lot of the tech that's happening yeah. within the IPL. And I'm sure a lot of the audience would be fascinated by this. And uh, I hope more tech keeps getting added to sport. And uh, thank you so much you're for welcome. your time. Whether it's sports, surveillance, or showbiz, Dogs like Champak aren't just mechanical mascots, they're the future of four legs. And here at Tech Today, we had a total blast. Sure, he may not fetch your slippers yet, but hey, he brings the tech charm and that's a win in our book. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.